This is the finished product of my Berea's tacos. I got my dipping sauce, my emotes, Mexican rice. Looking good. I can't wait to dig in. I'll tell y'all how it tastes. It's gonna be busting. This girl is finna make some Instagram tacos. Got it all, baby. Got a Kanye pepper, paprika, oregano, chili powder. Got a lemon pepper, black pepper, bay leaves. Oh, wait, this ain't even bay leaves. They probably got some bay leaves in there somewhere. Damn. We're gonna make it work. Garlic powder. We got our um, chicken bayon. I think that's what this is. I think so. We got our chili powder. Right now, I'm searing up the, the beef before I put it in the crock pot. And I got my bone in broth, and I got a little bit of chicken broth too. But I'm gonna add some onion to this, some garlic. Carrot, celery, and some of these um, wahilo chili. Get it cracking. Go ahead and stir this. Get it some extra flavor. Side. That's looking good already. Sear this. I'm gonna take this and put it in the crock pot with my bone in broth, my chicken broth. We're gonna cook that on high for about four hours. Come on, baby, I got you. Voila, magic. Voila, magic. I may add some more water or some more broth just so that it covers the top. And before I, I'm done with this, I'm going to add in my, my onion, my garlic, my celery, like two sticks of celery, um, some carrots. So, yeah. Okay, y'all, boys and girls, it's time to add our flavor in. Um, I did cut up these peppers. Well, I didn't cut them up. I tried, but they're like tough as leather, so I couldn't cut it up and make my own little season out of it. But what I did was I did take them out the packaging. Jeremy, shut up. I did take them out the packaging and um, take the seeds out of there. So that's good because it'll eliminate that bit of taste. I was going to blend it in our blender, but as you can see, don't mind the white hennies. But as you can see, I got a whole smoothie up in there I need to drink. So I'm going to let that thaw and then I may just take it out the pot and then take it out the crock pot and then like blend it. Um, and then I, I'm making this infused oil for the end for my, for the, um, what you call it? I don't even know what you call it, but we make making Instagram tacos, y'all. That's all we need to know. Just, just follow it. I'll put the direction in the description or whatever. We'll figure this out, but this is my first time making it. So we're going to, we're going to figure this out. I cut up an onion. I got two cloves of garlic and um, some carrots and two two tall stalks of celery so we're gonna add that in there okay just just put it on in there okay add that in there the celery and the carrots we're basically making like a soup or like to me it looks like a like a um pot roast but we're gonna have some spice in there, okay? Okay. We're gonna add some salt and pepper to this, some bay leaves if you have it, but I'm adding basil leaves. I got the wrong thing. Uh, a little bit of a little bit of chipotle pepper. I don't know because I don't want it to be too hot, so I'm just taking my time because I'm, I'm tend to make things a little too spicy, and everybody don't like a lot of spice. But um, yeah. So we're gonna add in our seasonings. Let that simmer, put the top on in. Some 
salt, like sea salt. Got these bi bio. I don't know how to pronounce it. But I'm gonna go ahead and like, oops, add a cube in there. Some basil leaves. A little bit of garlic powder, not that I need it because I got enough garlic in here, but I have to add my own little razzle dazzle to it, you know. Some of this chipotle chili peppers, just a little bit because I feel like this is going to be spicy enough. We're going to add that in there. And I did watch the girl on YouTube, she made her own little seasoning, but I'm not going to do that because this stuff is leather. And my blender is preoccupied right now. So I'm just gonna add these in and then later on take them back out and try to blend them up and just add the paste to this. But add those in there. This is about like five, six of them. So let me just push some of this stuff to the bottom. I think that's about it. And I probably could have cut up my meat, but I'll probably do that a little bit later on. But, or like just when it's done, I'm gonna try to cook it long enough so it could just be real tender. But yeah, that's that on that. Put that top on and let it cook. About like, okay, so I probably got like an hour and a half or an hour or two left. But since I do, what I'm gonna do next is. I'm gonna take out my chilies, my wahilo chilies, whatever, however you pronounce it, and I'm gonna blend them up. I don't have no food processor, but this should work just fine. So I'm gonna take these out, um, put these in here with some of the broth, and blend that up. It should be like a paste, and then I'll add it back into this. Because although, you know, we have these in here, it's not like, it's giving us some flavor, but we want it to like give us that flavor flavor you know so i'm gonna go ahead and blend those up but i should have like an hour and a half left on this but my meat is looking good let me see it's not it's a bit tender but i don't know not tender as i want it maybe when i cut it I don't know. The longer you cook it, the better it tastes. So I may cook it a bit longer than six hours, like they say. But let's see, make sure I got all of those peppers. I think I did. Okay. And so we took all those peppers out. I'm gonna add some of the broth. Probably like a cup or so. Let's go ahead and put some of that in there. So I don't typically blend things on my stove, but I kind of run out of space, so we're gonna do this. Do Pour that up in here. Yeah, we're gonna pour up all this. A little bit of this broth so I can get the rest of this out. letting that cook for about that hour or so I got left. It's been about 
six, seven hours. Cut some of the meat off. But flavor was no good. Mm, not bad. It's soft though, but it's a lot of fat in here. I don't like fat. I don't know, I may have to cut this. It's nice. Like some parts are super tender, some parts ain't. I'm just gonna cut that some more. Okay, and I'm gonna pour some of that juice on top of here so I can keep it nice and moist. Also making some Mexican corn or I guess they call it elote so got my corn going from that it's been boiling for about 10 minutes I'm gonna turn it off and I kind of got some like regular smegular like Mexican rice just to go with it so that's pretty much done and now for the part you guys have all been waiting for I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my tortillas on here okay Pour just a little bit of canola oil in here. Regular like corn tortillas, tortillas. Four or five of them. Okay, so go ahead and let that get hot. For my cheese, I just got regular like mozzarella cheese. That's what I'm gonna put inside. Okay, I'm getting a little impatient, so I'm gonna go ahead and dip this in my sauce over here. And our soup. Sauce on there, you can see. Here. It's cooking. Oh, wait, I'm gonna wait to flip it over. Psych. on the other side here. Yeah. Put the meat on there. The meat and the cheese on there. Ooh, that looks good. 
almost forgot. Before I plate this, I'm gonna show you how I make the corn. Um, the elote, the Mexican corn. I got some mayonnaise. I have the Cotija cheese. I don't know. I got this cheese. Some some chili powder and some paprika. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just make sure I put this all on here. Oh, and that was like oozing out. So that's all good. Get something. Excuse him in the background. And I'm just going to rub that all over the corn, okay? And I call this one the ghetto one. This is how my mama did it. But I'm sure that they don't, I don't, I don't know. See, it's like some of the videos I've seen, they do the mayo thing. Some of them don't. They just do like the butter and whatever. But I'm going to do it like this. Because this is how my mama used to do it. So that's how I'm going to do it. And then I have the lime right here in the frame because I'm going to put that like on the side of the dish. Because lime make it better. I promise you, make everything a little bit better. So you can squeeze it on top of the corn before you eat it, whatnot. Then also I did boil my corn with um, half a stick of unsalted butter. No way, it was salted butter. Um, uh, half a stick of salted butter. So, you know, just an FYI. But I'm gonna make sure I get this all coated before I put this on the plate. Coat it in the mayo. I'm just gonna give it a little twirl because get that make sure it's evenly coated. Okay, this should look like that. Get it all over. Okay. And then I'm gonna go in with my um Koja Cat cheese. Let me stop making my own names. I don't know. But this cheese right here. Okay. I'm trying to hurry up because I don't want my um, taco to get cold. And you just gonna, instead of getting my hands all messy, I'm just gonna pour this on. Pour this on the bad baby. Ooh, that looks so delicious. Okay. That looks so good. Let's get it all on it. And this is how it's looking. It's looking like that, all right? I'm gonna go in with my chili powder and coat that with the chili powder, okay? All right. I'm also going with my paprika and make it look real pretty like you do, okay? And this is how it's looking. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a squeeze because Jeremy may not know what's good with the squeeze, so. All right, I've had this in now, see how it juices, but there we go. That looks really, really good. Busting. But stay tuned, I'm gonna get this all plated up. I look crazy. I'm gonna get this plated up and make everything look good and get y'all mouth watering. Stay tuned. 